Hey everyone, how's it going? This is basically a continuation from my last Xeon 5 video when I tried the 7290F. I've since switched back over to the 7210. This way I have all the PCIe slots available again. And we can see right here that yes, we are in fact running the 7210 at 1.3. I have the flight sheet off right now. So what I wanna do now is I've got two of these. I wanna shut off the unit, plug them both in here, pull this Vega 56 or 64, I can't remember which one it is, out of here. I got two more cards I can put together so we can at least test some of it. Uh, eventually I want to have eight cards on this rig. I'm hoping to do four and four. So let me pull this out, get it all rigged up, and we're going to do a test before we move this motherboard and this cooler and all this stuff over to an actual mining rig. So if this works, great. We'll continue onward. Give me one second. Okay, so I got the test rig or whatever you want to call it all set together. I got all three cards mounted it onto risers. The risers are screwed into the two by four so the cards don't fall over. The cards and the risers are all powered from this 2400 watt um, server power supply through an X11 breakout. This power supply will go into the final build if this works. This is also powered, just not on right now. And inside you can see I have two of the red USBs going to the first four USB breakout and the blue going to the second one just so we can make sure that both cards work and they're seen. So let's see if we get any sparks. 12.5 volts. Um, no cards are of course spinning but they are powered up and I see lights on all three of them so let's turn on the Xeon Phi system. That's spinning, that's spinning, that's spinning. Cool. Um, let's jump back over to the computer because this is going to take a minute or two. Uh, Xeons and servers, motherboards usually take a few minutes to boot up. So that gives me a chance to get back over to the computer and we'll see if we see all three of these cards. Oh my God, it actually worked. I have my Vega 64 and two Vega 56s all showing up, which means that motherboard accepts both of those one to four breakouts. So perfect. Let me uh, get the overclock fixed on this and we'll get the hashing, check it real quick, and then we'll continue onward with the full build. Okay, so I got all three Vegas hashing away, got all the overclock set up perfectly, and I believe we're getting 512 mega hash on Ergo with just three Vegas. And let's see here. 123, 115, 113 at software watts. I don't know what the hardware watts is right now, but it's running perfectly on both of those expanders. Plus, I'm also doing 46 mega hash with the Xeon Phi 7210 on Verus. <laughs> Can't beat it, it's the perfect setup. So I got three cards right now, two more in the mail right now. I need to order three more when I get good deals for them, and I can have an eight rig setup, I'll have well over a giga hash on Ergo. But in the magic of editing, let's continue onward with the build. Okay, so I got the Kingwin 8 GPU chassis in and assembled, and I also put seven of the Noctua Redux 1700 RPM fans on the fan wall. And at the same time, I got another Asus Strix Vega 56 in, so I threw that in there for right now. The rest of it is still sitting over here, so let's turn this off and start putting it into the rack. So I got all eight cards set up. 
seven of which are Vega 56 slash 64s, and any of the 64s have been BIOS flashed down to Vega 56 for energy efficiency. And yes, I have a nice blue Frontier Edition card sitting on over here, which I reflashed it to a WX9100 that gives it better power efficiency and runs beautifully. The Delta 2400 watt power supply, the Xeon 5 board, and two of those four, piece, four USB breakouts. And I'm not sure if I can get a good view down inside here, but there is a ZSX breakout board and then another X11 board powering everything. So let's get this up and running and let you listen to it and then we'll go over the results. And here it is running. Everything's running good on it. Let's see how much wattage it's actually pulling. So right now we can see it's pulling about 1360 watts minus 10 watts because the only other thing that is running on this PDU right now is a little network switch right here. The whole bottom half is turned off which is for my gaming and editing computer. It is currently off and all the way down here the little green cord if you can see down there is for my other rig. Um, yeah the plugs right there. So we have isolated this rig completely by itself with just the network switch which pulls about 10 watts so 1360 1370 now I am running these at a more efficient slower setting because it's the middle of summer so let's jump over to the Hive OS screen and finish this up so you can see all eight cards on the top here and we are currently running at 1.231 giga hash on ergo plus uh Varus hash is kind of fluctuating right now. We're down to 38, but it will bounce between, say, 37 to 46 mega hash. So that's running beautifully as well. If we scroll on down here, we can see everything else is Radeon 56 because the 64s I flashed down to 56. And here is the Frontier Edition, which has been reflashed to a Radeon Pro WX9100. And you can see I'm running about 153 to 154, maybe 155 every once in a while. Mega hash per card. Software watts, just under 100 watts, except for the WX9100 is exactly at 100 software watts. But I showed you the hardware watts a couple seconds ago. And I'm running it this way because it's more energy efficient. Plus, it's the middle of summer right now. And the last thing I need is to pull an extra 500 watts if I crank these puppies all the way up to like 180 or maybe 190 mega hash per card. That's a lot more heat that I really don't want to deal with when it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So, you can even check the temperatures. The temperatures are beautiful on all these cards and not really that loud. I have all the cards running between 60 and 70 percent on the blower cards and even the two aces cards that are axial fans so they keep cool they run beautifully at this setting so i might just keep it like here but if it gets really cold in winter i might crank them up just to give it a shot so thank you for watching this build comment down below if you think this is truly one of the most unique mining rigs you've ever seen a xeon phi and a bunch of radeon 56 64 and a frontier edition shoved on the end here you can also catch me at the mining misfits discord i'll be in there to answer any other questions for you come say hi to everyone else and i will see you in the next video